well over 100,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer every year, and every year nearly 50,000 die of it. Tonight, Dr. John LaPoop tells us about a new treatment that could prevent a lot of those deaths. In the fall of 2013, Kate Winnie's cancer doctors gave her some very bad news. We've gotten to that point now where unless something comes along, it's, that's, that's about it. At the time, Winnie was 52 and worn out from a seven-year battle against colon cancer that included radiation, nine surgeries, and multiple rounds of chemo. That's a pretty scary place to be. But Dr. Luis Diaz and colleagues at Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center tried a new approach. The immune system often has a hard time telling the difference between a normal cell and a cancer cell. But a specific mutation present in about 15 to 20 percent of colon cancers causes the cells to become very different from normal. Researchers theorize those highly abnormal cells would be much easier for the body's immune system to find. Can we give one of these medications that turns on the immune system and would that allow your immune system that, to then attack your tumor and remove it or eliminate it? Kate had that mutation and is part of a study of 38 patients with metastatic colon cancer who had failed conventional treatments. 13 had the genetic defect, 25 did not. All were given an immune-boosting drug called pembrolizumab. In 12 of the 13 with the genetic defect, the cancer either stopped growing or shrank. In the 25 others, the tumors continued to grow. You were seeing these, these people who were really in, in an emergency situation in their life being returned to normal. And that's a, that's a pretty incredible observation and feeling. Kate has received the therapy every two weeks for a year and a half. Her tumors have almost completely vanished and she hasn't felt this well in years. To have the blessing of being able to think down the road and say, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm intend to be here for that is really incredible. It is, it's my own miracle. Several of the authors have a patent pending related to the research. If it holds up over time, this approach could be used to treat other cancers with the same mutation and Charlie helps select the patients who might benefit the most from this treatment which can cost more than $100,000 a year. A very hopeful story. Thank you, Dr. John LaPook.